So Photoshop has a new blur, it's called Lens Blur. I've tested it and it looks really cool. It's really good if you want to create some really kind of bokeh background and really get some nice photos with a lot of blur around your main subject, right? So not in your main subject, but around it in the background and stuff you don't want to see. So this gives an effect like you're using a pretty damn good camera or lens, right? So let's go into Photoshop here and I'm going to apply this blur to this one. So this is just the AI artwork. And what I'm going to do is I want to apply the blur to its face and I want to blur some areas around it away, right? So this has some depth already, but I want to try out this lens blur on this photo. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate this layer, then go to convert to smart object. And then we want to go to filter, camera raw filter. And in camera raw, we can now find this lens blur. You can see here it's still early access because it's pretty new. And the only thing we have to do is to click on apply. And now it's gonna work its magic as you can see with this little thing here now once this is done we can do some changes to this image and it already started blurring some stuff out now here we can set the focal range focal range i'm gonna click on this first and let's make a dot there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna enable visualize depth and this is really good because now we can really see where we want to blur and where we don't and if we open this up here we can click on focus and then if we brush here, this will be the focus. And then if we click blur, we can apply blur to areas that we want to blur out. So for instance, if we want to blur out some areas, we can now brush it with this one. We can increase the brush size here and maybe some feather to make it a bit softer on the edges like that. It's getting a bit laggy now because it has to process this. And when we disable this one, we can see what it does. So this is actually really easy to work in Photoshop now to create this kind of blur. Although I didn't do it so perfectly. So let's go back here. Let's do this a bit more there. And there, let's also blur that one out. All right, let's check it out. And you can see here it creates this really nice kind of soft blur effect to your photo. And we can also increase the blur amount here if we want more blur. Although you have to do this a bit more Precisely, I did it quickly as you can see here, but if you do this really precisely, I think this is probably the best blur Photoshop has now compared to the other blurs that we used before. Especially with the settings here, we can really do some custom settings here and you can even change the bokeh here if you want to have it more like that kind of bokeh or maybe like that, you can also change it all here. And if I look at this image, it looks like a really photographic kind of blur. So this is really cool blur. I'm really gonna try this out on different photos and in artworks to see how this will look on different stuff. But I'm thinking this will be the main blur I'm gonna use now for really adding blur in the background and to digital artwork or some photos. So this was just a little quick video to show you this new blur. Try it out, it's really cool. I think this will be the best blur in Photoshop. So thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.